Yeah, well, when we first started here 13 years ago, um, we had a predominantly Brahmin uh, breeder herd. Um, <clears throat> we had seven main paddocks, um, and water distribution was a bit of a problem. Uh, since then, we've gone from uh, those seven big paddocks uh, to around about 30 or 40 uh, permanent paddocks uh, and changed the breed to a more uh, composite uh, drought master breed. The cattle, we mainly background uh, here up to a certain weight and then uh, sell them onto the boats. Or... We uh, focus on the business aspect um, to try and get um, as much out of the country as we can without uh, having the country go backwards. And so um, we, uh, we've done um, some RCS training and and have done the grazing BMP and accreditation with that. And, um, and so through all that, we, we sort of worked out that um, what we needed to do financially and, and structurally with the business to um, keep the profits up in the business. And, um, and then as we evolved, um, we realised that, um, you know, if you look after the soil, everything else evolves um, because of that. So what we've done now is, um, and that sort of really come to forefront when we did the holistic management training, and um, so now, whenever we're grazing and um, whatever we're doing, it's all about the soil. And if we just focus on the soil, uh, as a consequence of that, the, um, the grass grows a lot healthier, the variety of species increases, then of course then you've got extra weight on your cattle, you've got extra carrying capacity, uh, more profit in your business. And so rather than focusing on the top down, we've uh, changed it around and, and just focus on the, on the soil. There's a saying that we we uh, live by, and that is life begets life. Our attitude and our, our, our way of being is to create as much life as we can, starting from under the soil. Everything else that is, is above that, which is our business as a, as a cattle operation, uh, but also the native animals and, um, and all the other things that come with a healthy environment. We have chosen to try and have as much of a positive influence on everything as we can and we've taken that attitude straight into our property and um, and it already has had a huge effect. On well, when we sat down and, and we really uh, thought about um, you know why are we here you know what what how do we really want to live our life and and everything and and what sort of legacy do we want do we want to leave behind for our kids and uh, <clears throat> that led on to Realising that we're part of the community, and um, and everything we do here, in some way or another, has an effect on the community, which then, in effect, <clears throat> has an effect on our family and the upbringing of our children and our, our future business. When we really sort of understood that part about our responsibility of, of owning this business, um, we really sort of kicked into gear, I suppose, in our attitude and our learning. And because every bit of uh, improved soil health we have, <clears throat> the more pasture we grow and health of pasture, well, the, the more people we end up employing and, um, and then that filters on to more shopping in the local community uh, as well as the schools, keeping the schools open. Our local communities, Bowen and Collinsville, have been absolutely dead for a couple of years. They're just starting to come to life again, but um, we're one of the very few, I suppose, properties that we're able to put another... Um, family on which was in turn supporting the local community. Because mm. um, without that tapping into other people's experiences um, and knowledge and you know you don't know what you don't know and so um, if you go expose yourself to new learnings whether you take it up or not it, it, it stimulates a thought and um, and it may help in some other way that you haven't even thought of. Learning is a form of creativity and um, for Leanne and I, um, we're both very creative people. Every opportunity we have, we try and um, further our, our knowledge about everything and realise that there's no end to it, which is so exciting. We wake up in the morning and the, we're part of the best industry in the world. We're on a beautiful patch of land and we've got, just got so many opportunities, whether it be marketing, whether it be business skills, whether it be cattlemanship, whether it be science and learnings about the soils. We're isolated on, on these properties and if you, um, and, and often you feel like you've got to reinvent the wheel over and over again because you're just here on your own doing it or you've just experienced something and you think you're the only one going through it. 
And if you get out there and actually expose yourself to to other people and learnings and stuff, you actually realise that someone else has already done this. So why spend, you know, a month of your time trying to work out how to do it when you could have had a an hour's conversation with someone and gone straight in and, and sorted it out? Um, yeah.